I better carry that bag. There's pretty valuable stuff in there. We don't want Ruff to drop it and spoil anything. Yeah, maybe you're right, Doe. You be careful, too. Don't worry. A little bag like this is worth $50,000 cash anywhere in the U.S. 50000 It's worth more than that, and you know it. Well, maybe. We'll talk about it in the office. Sit down. All right, you guys have got me and you got the bag. What do you expect me to do now? When you called me from Detroit and told me what was in that bag, you told me the price was 25 grand. Did I? Don't play tricks. You told me 25 grand, didn't you? That was for the stuff in the bag. Don't forget the cost of the bag in my trip out here from Detroit. That doubles the cost. Look, Ruff, you make a deal with me, you don't back down, see? If and when you and I come to an agreement about something, you don't back out. Understand? After being such a pig, you get nothing. Hey, this looks like the real thing. Yes, indeed. This looks like it, all right. Where'd you get this stuff, Ruff? That set of tools has been carefully hidden, wrapped in oil for two and a half years. My brother was killed when he stole it. Well, that's enough of that. Well, where's my doll? Stick around. I'll give you an IOU. Take you long to pick up this one? Yeah, some jerk with his car parked with the door unlocked. It was a cinch. Oh, good. Hijack's got an order for four of these down south. I know. And I know what colors he wants, too. So to save time, I'm picking them out by color. Yeah, good. When do we start changing the numbers on them? You better go get the number book so we can see about changing this one. Ruff, why don't you do some work around here so you can earn your keep? Listen to me, Hijack. I was telling Doak, and I'm telling you. I'm tired of getting pushed around. I want some dough. I haven't even got the price of a pack of cigarettes. Well, that's too bad. Here, here's some money. Now get back to work and stop bothering me. Picking it up now. 
And I promised to order it for this afternoon. We better have those colors right in the right body style, too. When are we going to snap the numbers on? You've been mighty anxious to get your hands back on those tools on just... Well, they're mine, ain't they? Only as long as you had them. Well, don't you worry, I'll get them back. Over my dead body. Well, if that's the way you want it, I'll go along with you. And the sooner the better. <laughs> Hi, Jack, I'm going to beat your brains out with this branch if you don't open that safe and give me back my tools. You can drop that rough. Let me tell you something I want you to remember. First chance I get, I'm going to kill you. I don't think you will. Unless you get your hands on the combination of that safe or your hands back on those tools. Besides, I think you're too yellow to kill anybody. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, that must be dope. You better sit down for a few minutes. Yeah, I couldn't take both of you anyway. Oh, how'd you make up? Yeah, I got to your car. You got six to go now. Right year, right model and everything. Oh, that's great. Got any trouble? Yeah. First time I've had any trouble for weeks. What happened? Well, a guy walked away from his car. He left it on a rock. When I hopped in to drive it away, it stalled. Go on. Well, the guy came back. Before I could get it started, he yelled at me, so I shot him. You shot him? You kill him? Nah. I only winged him in the arm. You know what that means, don't you? No. What? You know, I'm straight to the cops. Well, who cares? You won't be able to prove anything. Pardon me. Is this Dick Tracy's office? Yes. Hey, Mr. Tracy. Anything we can do for you? My name is Rawls. I was just sent up here to talk to you about my automobile being stolen. Well, well first I'd like to ask you about your arm. I was shot by the man who stole my car. How long ago did that happen? Within the last hour. Well, would you mind taking a look at this map and telling us in which section of town it happened? There. Right there. A man in overalls wearing a cap got into my car. Tried to start it, and the motor stalled. I had to go back to my car for something I forgot. Tried to stop him, and he shot me. Lucky you weren't killed. I know. I still want my car back. Well, Sam, that settles it. We better work fast. Mr. Rose, would you mind sitting down for a moment? We're going to take you with us to identify your car. Now, uh, Sam, as I was saying, this cluster of pins representing the auto theft in the past few weeks was all localized in one section of town. So? Well, obviously, somewhere in this area is the headquarters of the car stealing ring. Oh, well, you got our men checking the garages and warehouses? Yes. The best place in a big city to hide a car is with other cars. And that would be in garages and warehouses. That's right. Now, on our list, we only have four possibilities. If we strike fast and Mr. Rhodes here can identify his car before they change the motor numbers or repaint it, we can break this case wide open. Oh, let's get going. All right. Let's get going. Thank you, Sam. Okay, hi, Jack. How'd you do on changing those numbers? Well, a man East Hoover, the greatest thing that's out of Detroit. Uh, Rough Dope will give you the new numbers. You got to work. Dope, I want you to watch this very closely because uh, if he refuses to work with us, you're going to have to do his job. Hi, Jack. It'll be a pleasure. 
I got half a mind to drop this stuff and break it. Well, go right ahead. Because two seconds after that bag drops and the four you follow, it's full of lead. Okay, okay. Now look. This is the new engine number to match the registration paper. And this is the new out of body serial number. So, let's see how you operate the tool. Now these are the dies you set the numbers with. This is the way it works. That's pretty interesting. Hey, what's the paint in that car? It might not be dry yet. Oh, don't worry, Hijack. I give it the full infrared treatment, and then I went over it with a hand lamp. Yeah, that's sweet. There's one more on our list. I think after I watch Ruff a while, I'll be able to use them myself. Yeah, we gotta have somebody around who can use them. Just in case Ruff gets mad and decides to quit. Don't worry, I'm not leaving till I get some dough. We're we'll carried out of here feet first. I'm gonna put these in the safe. I hope you two will be very happy. Doc, don't you think I'm getting a raw deal on this whole thing? Listen, Ralph, the way I got it figured out is this. If you weren't smart enough not to get yourself in a position so a couple of guys could strong arm you and take away your die sinking tools, then it's entirely your own fault. Yeah, I guess you're right. What do you get out of this deal? You must have it figured out by now. I work for Hijack, and I don't care who owns the tools. You or Hijack, just as long as I get my dough every week. You know how the setup works? Sure. I know how the hot cars are picked up, and I know how they're sold in lots. I know everybody up and down the line that Hijack deals with. Look, I know how to work those die sinking tools, and I know all there is to know about etching acids. Why don't we make a deal? You mean you want me to double-cross Hijack? Oh, I wouldn't put it that way. Look at it like this. If you and I ran this operation, we could split the profits. You could handle the business end, and I could take care of the number changing. We could expand, put on a couple of extra guys to pick up the hot cars. You may have something there. If you and I can get that safe combination, we can knock off hijack any time we want. The more I listen to you, the better it sounds. Well, if we can't get the uh, safe combination, then we'll both jump hijack the next time the tools are out. Yeah, that's a better idea. But be careful and don't damage those tools. All right, boys, ask me for the combination. What's, what's the matter, hijack? Shut up. I'm trying to figure out which one of you guys to let have it first. But if I miss, I don't want to hit that car. Now, wait a minute, hijack. You're making a mistake. Wait a minute, I want to talk to you. All right, you double-crossers. That was the sound of shot. Well, yeah, could have been an automobile backfiring. After all, it is a garage. We won't take any chances anyway. If you gentlemen don't mind, I'll just wait out here a while. All right. Come on, Sam. Anybody in here? Who is it? It's Dick Tracy. Go in the office. I'll be there in a minute. So we'll have to settle this later. It's Tracy. We call it truce? Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it truce. I didn't want any part of this. I wasn't on Ruff's side. What started the whole thing? I was just talking to Ruff. And you misunderstood. Ruff, you come with me. We'll hide in a secret panel while Doak goes in and talks to Tracy and pretends like he owns the place. Okay. And Doak, if anybody asks any questions, you own the place. Right. Come on.
Dick Tracy? Yes? I didn't hear you come into the garage. We had a motor running and it kept backfiring. It made an awful lot of noise. I told you that was the backfire of an auto. Well, what can I do for you gentlemen? Uh, what's your name? My name is Doak. I own the garage. Is there something you want? Well, I'd like to ask you a few questions, such as your garage capacity, uh, do you repair cars, and whether you sell automobiles. Well, what are you leading up to? Well, we had a big wave of automobile thefts lately. Certainly you don't suspect me, do you? We don't suspect anyone in particular. We're just checking on all garages. Do you mind if we have a look around? Why, certainly not. Is there anything specific that you'd like to see? No, no, we just wanted to look around. Well, all my books and records are at my accountant's office. That is, if there's anything in them that you'd like to see. No, that won't be necessary. We can see those later. Well, let's go. All right. What a setup you got here. Well, it isn't a very fancy place, but it took me quite a few years to build it up even to this. Yeah, it looks all right. It'll never make me a very rich man, but I like it. Well, this is a new paint job, isn't it? Did you do this here? Well, I wouldn't know for sure. It looks like a new paint job. The car came in yesterday for a motor overhaul. You do paint work, don't you? Well, only if we have to. It's more bother than it's worth. Our specialty is motor work. I see. Well, Sam, why don't you call Mr. Rones in? Oh, Mr. Rohn, would you step inside, please? Doak, this is Mr. Rohn. How do you do? Oh, why, why do you keep looking at me like that? Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Rohn, does this look like your car? Well, it's the same make and the same model. See, Mr. Rohn was shot a couple of hours ago and his car was stolen. Well, if there's any question in your mind at all, why don't you look at the engine serial number? No, I'd rather not bother you men. This isn't my car, I can tell. It's a different color. Well, you men walked in here looking for a stolen car. And so I know there'll be no suspicions. Why don't you take a look at the engine serial numbers? That won't be necessary, really, it won't. Oh, Mr. Rones, go ahead. Here, you can check them against these serial numbers. Yes, do that. No, Mr. Tracy. I'm afraid this is not the same car. See, I told you. Wait a minute. I just remembered something. What is it, Mr. Rones? I painted my initials in white paint on top of the battery in the car. I'm quite certain I saw a flash of white on top of the battery just now. Don't be ridiculous. Now touch that hood. Let Mr. Rones take another look. That's enough of this nonsense. All right, you copper stand right where you are. I recognize you now, Mr. Tracy. That man with the gun is the same one who shot me this afternoon. You talk too much. Sam, this may be a trick. Yeah. Well, Sam, I got him. Yeah, it's a good thing you did. That last bullet missed me by about that much. Yes, it was a pretty close call. Yeah, well, he deserved what he got. This is the fellow that shot Mr. Rones. I guarantee you he won't shoot anyone else. Oh, and by the way, thanks for getting him just when you did. Now, uh, Sam, you know I wouldn't let anything happen to you. Mm. Even though Mr. Rowan's car was stolen, looks like he's going to get a brand new paint job. Oh, yes, and see that all the stolen cars are returned to their rightful owner. I'll get on it right away. Well, Sam, this might be the end of this car stealing ring, but I'm not sure. Well, if it isn't, it will be when you get through with them. Whenever you are on the trail of criminals, they end up one of two ways. Either in jail or in the mall. Anybody that breaks the law has to pay for the wrong they've done. <laughs>